we've got a huge box fan pulling a ton of air through that massive four inch filter right there. Lots of space, lots of surface area for air to get drawn through. So as many of you are aware, there are massive amounts of wildfires breaking out all over the West Coast right now, and the skies are filled with smoke. It's actually the worst I've ever seen it as long as I've been alive. In fact, the skies around Seattle and the surrounding areas are so filled with smoke, you can barely see the sun. So I've got a way for you guys to fix this problem completely, or at least, 90% of the way there without spending massive amounts of money. I used to suffer from allergies. I never had asthma, but I would just get really bad allergies. And I thought if I could just improve the air quality in my home, I could clear a lot of it up. So I started with the HEPA filters and the problem with them is they're these small little neat looking contraptions that cost a huge amount of money. And then you've got to buy the HEPA filters and each filter fits a specific HEPA fan and it costs tons of money. They don't filter a big enough area. They don't move enough air volume. And I got really frustrated in the beginning with this because you spend so much money and you just spin your wheels. You don't really get the air quality that you want. So this led me to a little discovery that is so simple and I just wanna put it out there to help people who haven't thought of it yet. But I just wanted to be able to move a massive amount of air through a really good quality filter and clear out the air in my home. And this little setup will work for not only smoke, but also pollen and other allergens that are in your home. And here it is guys, just a simple box fan. That and a good filter to put on the back, that's it. So I picked this up a long time ago. It's been running for, like I said, over a decade, but I personally prefer a box fan that has these little corners filled in because when you put the filter on the back of this thing, you it's gonna actually have to work a little harder to pull air in from the back. And what you don't want is a lot of dead space around here where air can go in around the blades, the outside of the blades. You want that air getting pulled in from the back side of the fan. It will work if the whole front is open. That's not a problem if that's all you can find. But if you can find one where the corners are sealed off and it just fits the fan perfectly, then it's gonna pull more in from the back side. So I'm gonna show you a different filter here in a sec, but this filter, they actually, when I went to the store about a month ago, to get a new filter, they were out of the kind I normally get, and so I had to pick this skinny filter up. It's about, I don't know, an inch, half inch, something like that. And it's only made to last for, I think, like three months, but you can see how well this thing works. Look at all of that dust and smoke building up in there. It's just, it's really gotten loaded up over the last couple, I don't know, few days because of all the smoke in the air around this area. It's, it's actually pretty bad, but all of that is not going through my lungs now. But I was able to get access to the filters I normally use, so I'm gonna show you how I do this now. So there's the one I normally use, and it's actually a four inch filter. I took it out of the plastic wrap already, but I left the advertising there so you can see what type of filter I buy. You can get this at probably any big box store. They're pretty common, but this is the one I use. It's the best filtration I can find with the four inch filter. And that's what I mean. It's just four inches wide. And you can see that it filters out dust and lint, pollen and pet dander, bacteria and viruses, which will just totally clear the air in your home. But this doesn't even list everything it filters. Normally I buy this as a single pack, but it came in a two pack this time. So I grabbed them both. You can see there, but normally the label actually on the back side, which it doesn't on this one, lists a whole list of everything it will filter out. This one doesn't for some reason, probably because it's a two pack, but uh, it includes like smoke from candles and things like that. So it will filter smoke, but here's what it looks like. If I take this off, see how bright white that is? Isn't that crazy? That's what this one looked like just a month ago. I don't even think I've had this one on there a month, maybe about a month, but just in the last few days from all the smoke from the wildfires, it has just plugged up so bad, man. So if you guys want to filter the air in your home, you don't need a HEPA filter. You don't need to spend all that money on those things. You can just, and the cool part about this is too, you can find these filters just about anywhere. You can even order them online. You don't have to find a special filter that is gonna fit a special fan and cost you a ton of money. 
Now the four inch box here will last you six months. I leave this thing on, change it about twice a year in my house normally. With all the smoke going on, you may need to change it more frequently, but there you go. I mean, this thing lasts for, I'll put it on now, it's uh, September, this thing will last all winter. You always want to make sure you're following the arrow and pointing this thing down towards the fan. So there you go, all done, ready to go. We've got everything taped on and you wanna make sure that you've taped the seam all the way around really well so that any air that is pulled through this comes through the filter portion of the fan. And then you can see we've got a huge box fan pulling a ton of air through that massive four inch filter right there. Lots of space, lots of surface area for air to get drawn through. I also find with the four inch filters here, you do have a lot more surface area, so the fan doesn't have to work as hard, and it actually can pull more air through there. So, you've got a simple setup. I think the box fan, you could probably find one for 20 bucks, somewhere around there. The filter costs somewhere close to 30, but somewhere around 50 bucks, you could get this whole setup done, and you've got just a huge surface area of air that can just keep moving through here. I've got three settings on this one. We generally just set this on the lowest setting and just leave it running 24 seven. It pulls hardly any watts at all. I mean, it probably costs a dollar a month in electricity to run, and it's just constantly keeping your air filtered. And yeah, it's not the prettiest setup, but it's gonna keep your air clean and it's gonna cost a fraction of what those expensive HEPA filters cost. Now, in regard to that filter I've got on there, it says a 1550, that's just the company's labeling, you know, number wise. I don't know how they come up with that, but what it says, and it doesn't say it on that packaging, it's the two package deal, so it didn't have all the information. But what it normally says on there, if I remember right, it's around 95%. It filters like up to 95%. It might be 97, but I'm trying to ballpark it low. But anyway, it's over 90% for sure it, of the air that it filters, the junk that it filters out of the air, the pollen, the viruses, the mold spores, the smoke, anything like that, even perfumes and scents it will filter out. Now with a HEPA filter, they say, you know, 99%, whatever that means. So are you really getting that much more for that great big huge cost? I don't think so. This helped me out quite a few years ago when I really had a lot of allergy problems. I've kind of grown out of that over the years, but in the beginning, this helped me out a great deal. It really cleans the air quality in your home and it doesn't cost much. And if you guys are worried, I know there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. I know I'm not gonna get drug into this, but it does filter out viruses. If you guys are extremely worried about that, set it up in your home crank the thing on and it will just filter out bacteria and viruses as well. One more neat thing about this is it will filter out a massive amount of air. It's got a huge volume of air. It can move through that big filter constantly, just 24 seven. And so where those HEPA filters are set up to clear the air in maybe a 12 or 14 by 14 room, something like, you know, like a master bedroom or a kid's room or maybe a little living room area, this thing, it can do a half a house. I mean, this thing can move massive volumes of air through to constantly keep it scrubbed and clean for you. So anyway, I know this is a little off the beaten path of plants, but Regina, we were talking about this at work the other day and I felt like I needed to show you that because it's important right now. We've got some really poor air quality. 
It's Friday here. The rain has started a little bit. This is the first time it's rained in a while, and that's going to help clear the air. Actually, it sprinkled a couple days ago, but it wasn't much of anything. This is going to help clear the air, but even with this rain, it is so bad here right now that I can still look out amongst the trees and see a haze of smoke. I still can't see the blue sky. It's absolutely crazy. This will help you guys, though, if you have asthma or you suffer from allergies. It'll help a great deal. So before there's a run on the market for these filters, I'm going to go order some online and then I'll release the video. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week. Stay clean. Stay breathing the clean air. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.